What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down a great outside wide receiver quiz, okay? So if you guys are not familiar with our quiz format, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show three specific pre-snap looks that outside wide receivers are going to see in a game. We're going to give you three specific situations with routes that you have to run. You're going to pause the video, think about what you would do, and then you're going to play the video where I'm going to break down and explain what you would do in this situation. So I hope this video helps you guys out. If you guys have any kind of feedback or any kind of suggestions for videos that you would like to see next, don't hesitate to leave those in the comments section below. We always appreciate the feedback from you guys, and we absolutely love hearing from you. Okay, so now, first th first situation we're going to cover is a 10-yard speed out from the outside wide receiver position with a condensed split, and this DB is going to be outside shade, but this is the key part. I want you guys to think about why would this DB be playing outside shade, number one, and number two, rather than just outside shade at maybe like five to six yards, he's outside shade right at the break point, right when you have to make this break point to the out route. So let's say that it's a 10-yard yard out and he's going to be sitting right at about like eight to ten yards so you guys can go ahead and pause the video and now we're going to break down what you guys have to think about about this route okay so now the main keys that i talked about here okay why would this db be outside shade right there's a couple reasons so if you said that it's because he has safety help to the inside you would be correct now the other reason that is maybe not the most common reason is that his split is condensed that's why i brought that up in the beginning of the question because when a db you got to start thinking like a db is a wide receiver if your split is condensed down what do you think a db is going to be anticipating an outside breaking route because everybody loves to know that an offensive coordinator if he likes to cut your split down as a wide receiver usually he's trying to set up a corner route trying to set up an out route maybe like some kind of outside breaking route where you're like fading to the outside so that db is trying to sit to the outside to make it more difficult on us to run the route but we have to have that high route iq to be able to get open and leave some space to the sideline for my quarterback to throw me open right so now now if you said okay db's outside shade and i have to run that 10 yard out and he's sitting right at the break point if you said attack the inside shoulder but that's all you said you would be incorrect now the reason why i bring that up is because because if he was sitting maybe at about like seven yards and you had to break it at 10, yes, you'd want to attack his inside shoulder, try to get him to flip those hips to the fade and then be able to slip back underneath. But if the key is, if he's sitting at that break point, you have to give him something at the top of the route to sell the outside breaking or to sell an inside breaking route to get him to move because he won't flip his hips if he's just going to sit there right at the depth. So let's play this thing full speed. Let's watch what Cooper Cup does. He decides to go with this like triple rocker step at the break point and make this separation and catch this out route. So again, this DB is sitting right at the break point. It's not like he was sitting closer and we got him to turn his hips. He's still off, but you still, the same principles apply. When you have an outside breaking route, again, outside leverage you got to threaten to the inside you have to make him think post you have to make him think dig and this rocker step is a great way to do it you could do a triple rocker step like cup does where you go left right and then left or you could go a double rocker step you go right then left but the same thing applies you are selling the post your upper half have to sell the post and you're attacking the inside of the db to force the hip flip and be able to get out of there it's more than just stemming him in this case only when he's sitting at the depth when he's a little bit closer maybe about seven yards off outside shade five to seven that's when you want to go right at that outside shoulder get him to turn those hips maybe restack if if he's just flat out slow but he'll be hip to hip with you and that's when you could throw by and slip back underneath let's play this thing again full speed one more time so if you guys said that he's outside leverage simply because he has safety help and because your splits cut down and then if you said make that rocker step at the top of the break that would have been 100 correct let's play it full speed one more time great job by cup hitting him with this triple step rocker and being able to create separation on this out route okay so now next situation we're going to be talking about is versus inside shade off man coverage and it's going to have to do with um leverage and we're going to think about leverage and what this route specifically will do okay but before we get into this specific clip fellas i want to talk to you guys about a great opportunity we are offering on our website we are offering an eight week long wide receiver on field workout schedule so what it is it's eight weeks 60 days of specific wide receiver field workouts for route running press releases hands explosiveness balance all the things that are going to help your on field performance improve we break every single single day down into a workout splits. We give you sets and repetitions, names of each exercise, and we give you an hour over an hour's worth of video content explaining each drill, showing full speed examples of each drill, and walking you through why each drill is important. So if you guys want this ultimate on-field wide receiver workout schedule for this offseason, check out that very first link in the description below. We'd love to get you guys on that. Let's get back to this video. So now, second situation here. We got inside leverage, off-man coverage DB, about seven to eight yards off, right? About seven to eight. Now, same situation, but he's inside shade. So inside shade, think about why is he inside shade? 
Why is the DB lined up inside shade? Think about the split of the wide receiver and how would you run a 10 yard speed out in this case, okay? So you guys can go ahead and pause the video. And now we're going to break this thing down. Okay, so now it's the opposite, right? So anytime that we talk about leverage, the mistake that a lot of people say is that, oh, I want to attack the DB's leverage always. Now, in this case, you do want to attack the DB's leverage, right? That's a mistake that people will make when it's an inside breaking route. Like a lot of people think that, oh, when you have to run a dig route, oh, I want to attack the DB's leverage because then he'll start to backpedal. No, 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 no. What a DB is taught to do is when you attack his leverage, like so, what's he going to do? He's going to keep his leverage. They call it weaving to the inside, and then you're going to end up running a dig right into him. You want to attack his leverage when it's an outside breaking route because if we can widen him from the space that I need to get to, that just creates more space for the quarterback to throw me open, right? So if I have to run a 10 yard space, speed out off man coverage inside shade you want to attack leverage if that's what you guys said you'd be correct if you said attack the outside shoulder that would be incorrect right so you want to attack the inside shoulder and get him to move now why would he be inside shade because look at uh, claypool's split right here he's cut down his split is condensed right so his split is condensed but that db's lined up inside shade so why would he be doing that because again like you said in the last clip a smart db will think oh well if he's a condensed split he's going to be outside shade they're working a situation where he does not have any safety help because we could condense the split and then we could get a cover zero and then we, we got it we got him that's a perfect situation for us because i could just square him up i can move him off the platform this is set up for me to win on this out route so let's play this thing full speed great job stemming the db hitting him with the rocker step getting him to keep his leverage and again you see how much space we just created to the sideline for myself by simply attacking the db's leverage so that's what you guys have to do in that situation let me rewind this clip and then we'll play it full speed one more time great job attacking leverage stemming him rocker step and then accelerating out ball was late but great job by claypool making a play on that okay so now let's talk about this last situation this is a zone coverage db so zone coverage db i want you to think about how you can tell this is zone coverage number one and how would you guys run a fade route in this specific situation okay so you guys can go ahead and pause the video and now we're going to break this thing down. Okay, so now, how do you tell that this is zone coverage? Number one is the eyes and the stance. That's what you have to pay the closest attention to. So we looked in both of those clips before this. Those were off man. That was off man situation, right? So how was the DB standing? He was facing us, right? He was in this kind of squared up stance, sitting right there, and his eyes were on me, right? In this case, this DB's facing the quarterback. Eyes are kind of to the inside, maybe looking at the quarterback, at seeing what the number two wide receiver is doing. Maybe he's going going to be running a wheel and he'll be going right into his zone. Maybe this receiver is running a post and that's going to be traded off to the safety so they can communicate that and tango that. That's why his eyes are in the backfield. Again, it's not man coverage. Everybody always assumes like, oh, when you get beaten zone, everybody's like, oh, he shouldn't have been looking at the quarterback. He's probably ID in the number two to see what the number two wide receiver is doing rather than staring at the quarterback's eyes because DB knows not to do that, right? That's why he's in this situation. So that's how we can tell it at the zone. Now, again, he's a little bit outside shade, kind of head up, but he's in, in zone. And when he's in zone, he's trying to keep everything in front of him so when it comes to running a fade route what do you think you guys have to do here if you guys said you want to step on his toes that would be somewhat correct right if you guys said that you want to attack the blind spot that would be incorrect what i would say is you want to throw a move called a vertical set which is a hard fake to the inside to sell a post route right so this is actually a 10 yard out route but i want to talk to you about what that inside fake could do right so we watch davis come up here and you see how he gives that move and that cut to the inside you see how slow that DB's opening up his hips right here. And you see how we're able to get him beat even on this 10 yard speed out. Now imagine if I had to run a fade right here and I go up and I give him that cut to the inside, he settles to the inside. I could just slip right here to that blind spot and look where I'm at. I'm on the numbers because I attacked him. I stepped on his toes and gave that fake to the inside. Now I have space to the outside for the quarterback to throw the fade. So that's a common question that we get asked is coach, how do I run a fade when it's zone coverage like this? You want to close the distance give him that head fake to the inside we call that a vertical set and then slip back to the outside so that quarterback has some space to fade you if he likes the matchup right if he likes that matchup and it's maybe like a cover three look all he has to do is peek off that safety come right back to you and if he has faith and trust in you that you could win that one-on-one -on -one matchup essentially against zone you're going to get the ball on this you just have to be ready for it and we have to give the quarterback space to make something happen so again i'm just going to play the top of this thing full speed one more time just see what that cut can do to the inside sell that inside fake 
then be able to slip back to the outside to run that fade against zone coverage. All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. Like I said, in any video feedback, any kind of video that you guys would like to see is always much, much appreciated. And again, fellas, if you would like an eight-week long wide receiver on-field workout schedule, it's not a gym schedule. It's all the drills that wide receivers need to be doing on the field with sets, reps, workout splits, names of exercise, and a, over an hour's worth of content explaining each drill. Check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.